the CAO Black in Bingo. Bingo, which is a classic Toro size cigar. It is a 6x50 stick. Um, absolutely lovely looking. We have a nice cedar wrap on this. We've got the band up there, and we got the foot band. These are very, very difficult to find, and only a few online retailers have these. You're probably not going to find these in your local store. Uh, if you do, grab some. Grab them up, because they're very difficult to find. Uh, this is really, really cool. The CAO Black. All right, let's take a smell of this. Mmm, very nice, sweet tobacco smell. A little bit of chocolate. And uh, almost like a cherry sweetness. Very, very nice. I'm really excited about this. This should be an absolute great, great stick. Uh, so we're gonna go on ahead and take a look at the wrapper now. Minimal veins, Titan Invisible Seal. Uh, it looks like there is a double cap, a very generous looking double cap on there, which is good. Uh, yeah, very, very good looking stick. Little, little lumpy in some places, no big deal. All right, let's go on ahead and uh, get this cut up and start lighting. Now, this is one of the few cigars on exception that I do not toast, and there's a reason for that, and you're going to see why. Fired up. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, it almost tastes like a fruity beverage. It's nice. That is how you light a cigar with a cedar wrap. Very nice flavors. Right away, perfect draw. Nice flavors. Getting a nice mellow flavor out of these. Uh, it's like a mellow wood. A little bit of earthiness coming in. And just an overall a little bit of sweetness. Very, very nice. Not bad. Very, very smooth smoke. Very smooth, uh, you get a little bit of, uh, I'm getting a little hint of uh, chocolate coming in, just a little bit. Other than that, it's a smooth earth and wood. All right, let's let it heat up, get into the first third and see how it develops. All right, well, about 10 minutes in now, about half inch, three quarters of an inch down. Proven to be a pretty decent burn time on this, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. Uh, the draw is a little bit snug, I think there's a little bit of a knot right, right in here. So I've been kind of massaging that real easy. Um, this is uh, definitely a medium body, mild to medium at the most right now. I'm getting a dried fruit and cocoa flavor out of this. It's really nice, like a, well, like a milk chocolate and dried fruit kind of flavor with the banana-y banana -y kind of flavor, kind of 
on top. It's a very soft kind of flavors, very soft, and it's got real quick finish. It's already gone, uh, which is nice. It's real soft and smooth and all right. <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, this is really enjoyable. We'll uh, let it go towards the halfway point into the second third and see how it develops. All right, just a little bit of an update here. The ash is holding on just fine. We're about, uh, about an inch down now. And uh, we're getting a little bit of uh, pepper zing on the draw now. It's uh, just came in. Other than that, the flavor profile is exactly the same. You still got the, the, the dried fruit and chocolate kind of flavors. Uh, with the banana flavor kind of being on the forefront, which I really, really like. And that's very interesting for, uh, for a stick. I wouldn't think you'd find a flavor like that in these, but yeah, it's very, very nice. Burn is absolutely spot on. It's uh, just about razor sharp, you know, whatever. That's fine. That's beautiful. Not even having to think about a touch-up. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how it progresses as we move on down. Alright guys, we're into the second third now, approaching the halfway point, and I thought I'd do a little, a small update for every set of flavor changes that I get. Uh, right now, the, the chocolate and fruitiness has uh, died down a little bit. The fruity flavors have died down a little bit, and a more woody earth has kind of came up a little bit. The chocolate's still there a little bit, and the fruit's still there, but now we're getting more natural organic flavors coming up out of this now with the uh, wood, smooth wood, and smooth, uh, earthy type of flavors. So very, very nice. The smoke is still very smooth. It's uh, very cool. Uh, we Right now we are, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes in right now. I smoke very cool. Uh, I take this thing, I'm taking a draw off of this every minute and a half to two minutes. like a two to four second pull off of this and it's just burning flawlessly no construction issues a touch up or a relight isn't even part of the equation at this point beautiful performance out of this no complaints at all, all right just approached the halfway point we've dropped all the fruit flavors and dropped the earthiness and wood there's still a little bit of wood there but uh, now we've got a nice chocolate and coffee coming back up to the forefront past halfway point. Ash just fell off in a nice solid chunk after about an inch. No big deal. Burn is still pretty good. Not too bad. Not needing any touch-ups. The draw has definitely opened up since the light uh, after about 20 minutes in. Became absolute perfect draw. No construction or performance issues whatsoever. So uh, let's get on down to the band point and see how it develops. All right, so just after the the last update, the fruitiness dropped down and went into a nice earthy wood, and then uh, a few draws later, the fruitiness and the chocolate and the banana flavor came back in, and it blended really well with the earthiness and the wood. Then after that, they dropped all the wood and the earth notes a few draws after, and it was just a nice fruity fruitiness. The chocolate and a nice espresso coffee came in as well. Uh, very, very nice stick. It's getting a little bit warm now. We're just now to the band point. No construction issues. Razor sharp burn. Uh, all in all, an absolute beautiful smoke. Uh, I really don't know what else to say about it. This is absolutely great. If you can find them, get some. The smoke has been dry, but very, very smooth throughout the whole thing. Mild to medium body at the most. Very, very pleasant. Lots of wonderful transitions, especially in the last third of this stick. Uh, yeah. So this has been the CAO Black in Bingle. Once again, thanks for watching, and give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Lots more good stuff coming up. Why are you writing that one, Jeff, if they can't even buy it anymore?